Hey everybody, welcome back to Tin Plated. I'm Sean. I'm Rob. So we're still in the swamp because we got our shit pushed in at the top of the water wheel. I'm posing heroically. Check it out. I like that. But you're missing something. Oh, hold on a second. No. Excuse me while I whip this out. Eek! God, I love this club. Oh my god. Anyway, um, there's a whole lot of stuff up at the top of that water wheel. And so it's pretty clear that's where we're headed next. But we haven't fully finished plundering this place. So uh, I decided to grab my uh, club of overcompensation plus two. Now, and, now, and go make sure we've thoroughly looted everything there is to see. Now, Sean, you're not just trying to get out of fighting your way through the water wheel area, are you? Oh, no. We're, we're heading back there. That, that is a foregone conclusion. But I'm a greedy... Get off of me! God! But I'm a greedy bastard, so I want every possible thing I can get. Unless it's, you know, a jump I can't figure out or something. Or had a kick. Hey, we figured out kicking. <laughs> we got it. You know, I uh, really, kicking. I don't know if he'll cop to it, but I think he just wants to play around with this club. He has been talking about this thing ever since we wrapped shooting our last bit of video. And, and it keeps coming up, like, randomly throughout the day. Sitting down to eat, and he'll be like, I'm real excited for that club. You know, I'm sitting there going, motherfucker, I am hung over, and this bastard's talking about going clubbing. I'm going to kill him. No, nope, just my giant, giant great club. I mean, how can you not love it? It's just so big and phallic. I Deadly. Deadly. That's a bit of a Freudian slip there, Chief. Hmm. <sighs> Yeah, that's totally an item back there. I'm nice. gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Bet it's a it's a uh, shit pie or whatever they're called. Fucking dung pies. How many of those do we need? I think we've got like five. Maybe that's not an item. It's the glowing face of a bug. Oh, what is that? What is that? That would be a lamprey. Well, it's dead. It's a type of flat one. Hmm. Well, that's weird. But that's an item. I'm not sure it's dead. Or maybe it's just moving because you're kicking it. I got souls out of it, so I'm guessing it's dead. Okay, yeah. Um, hmm. We have I been know. here, I thought. No, not all the way. A, a little further from here is where the... The two uh, giants are? Yeah, the, yeah. the orcs with the clubs. Pyromancy, pyromancy poison, poison mist, mist. Tattered cloth. Can I just say that pyromancy, poison mist, sounds like something out of, like, Naruto? Like, a little bit. It just sounds... What does poison have to do with fire conjuring? Okay, look back there. That's totally a cave. And that is a whitish green glow. Oh, um, the? there's a whole fucking. Huh. That's a bonfire. Oh, oh God. Okay. Is this place bigger than we thought? Yeah. Oh, oh wait. wait. No, that, that's the tunnel we started in. Okay, okay. All right. Should, no. should we swing back there since we're right there? Yeah, maybe. All right. The sad part is I'm the only one that's been drinking. He's supposed to be the smart one. Is that a bonfire? Hey, it's a bonfire, isn't it? It, it is. I was not technically wrong. It is not, however, a new bonfire. I, I, didn't, I didn't say it. But, you know, said it was a bonfire. And we, could, we could go check it. All right. But now we got to go this way. Uh, we did get some, uh, I mean, it's mage equipment, but, you know. It's not like we're especially pyromantic. Well, we've got all those pyro spells we picked up, you know, on spec. But, yeah. Uh, it'd be nice if they gave us, I don't know, what do you, what item do you need to use pyromancy? I mean, we've got the the thing for sorcery. We've right. Got our talisman for our, our miracles. Maybe you need a specially magical item that just says pyromancy. I don't know. I'm, I'm sure we'll. I'm sure we'll come across one. You need a Zippo and some gasoline would be my guess. Not just a mouthful of Bacardi 151. Uh, have I ever told you about the first time I ever had 151? You have not. So it's my freshman year of college, oh. way back in the day. Oh, shit. And I'm on this rum kick. Now, I never had a drop of alcohol until I was 18 and at college. But then I picked it up pretty quick. So, my roommate at the time, he, he had his fake and all that. And
then. So we're going to a toga party. And he asked me what I want. And I said, well, you know, I'm enjoying rum. He goes, okay, cool. Comes back with Bacardi 151. <laughs> now, I'm thinking, and this seemed logical. I mean, maybe it's their 151st recipe or whatever. Oh, oh dear. You know, I mean, old number seven is not seven proof. You know. So Damn, I, I was hoping we wouldn't trigger them. I knock the top off this bastard, flick it away, and just crank it back. I'm pretty sure I dissolved a tooth because I was on fire. I, I mean, yeah. at this point, all I'd ever had were a few beers and a couple of shots, and I just went nuts with the 151. Okay, looks like there's nothing back in this direction, so that that's good. Hard lesson was learned that day. Wait a minute. This does go back quite a ways. Huh. I mean, I guess there has to be something on top of this hill, right? I mean, those those, those orcs are still fucking following me. Chucking oh, rocks. You can outrun them. Yeah. To catch up, I got a great club to bash them in the face with. There you go. What the hell is it? Oh, invisible wall. That's great. So much for outrunning them. Now, since you're about to go into thought-provoking combat... You'll need to focus. I'm going to ask you something. Now, I know last time I kind of, you know, made it hard because I needed some specifics, but maybe this That's will be That's not easy. all that made it hard, baby. Uh, I'm going to fuel those fan fifers. It's going to happen. Hey, I've said it. If if we reach, what what did I say? 100 subscribers? I'll read the fanfic people write about us. Uh, and I will weep openly, and y'all know Sean would record that shit. Oh, yeah, it's going to happen. That would uh, require someone to also write fanfic about us. Anything? Rule 34, man. Somewhere out there is Sean slash Rob porn. True enough. Anyway, you were... You were anyway, uh, what I'm saying is your five favorite game series. Now, they don't have to... You know, your favorite series might not include any of your favorite games. I know a lot of my favorites have terrible series and thus aren't included. Mm. Oh, 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 come on, come on. Oh! Oh, that hurt. That hurt. Yep. You are not... No, oh, there it is. I wonder what this... Wham! Going yard Wham. on this one! All right, I got a drink in a hurry. So, uh, get up on that. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with uh, our little gaming rule... Oh shit, there's another one coming from the other direction. Uh, Every time whatever. he hits the flask, I drink from my horn full of liquor. You know, sort of sort of keeps things balanced. And we encourage you guys at home to do it too. Make us into a drinking game. Share us with your friends. Drink responsibly. Don't drink and drive. Go oh, pickaxe. Or at least don't blame us. Yeah. Pickaxe. If you do, make sure you're watching something else. I don't know. Cutie pie or something. Oof. Make sure that's what you get caught. Otherwise, don't ever watch it. Anyway, so like one of my favorite series is mm -hmm. Mega Man. Yeah, yeah. Now I'll grant you there's some some pretty like monotonous Mega Man, but the, the first uh, those Game Boy Advance ones. The they, they were not great. Well, like when you get into like Mega Man X with like Buzz Mandrill and shit, or but uh -huh. the first ten Mega Man games are solid and great and, like, an institution for me. Oh. God, it's hard to move around in the water. Um, you know, I'm tempted to say Final Fantasy, but it's just had so many weak points over the years that I, I, I can't really give it that title. Mm-hmm. Uh. Whoa! Shit. No, I think I'm gonna. No, I'm gonna have to finish him off. Oof. Nice! Um. Uh, the Fight Night series. Fight Night. Really good. That's one each. And let me just say Fight Night Round 2 specifically. Uh, it was for the GameCube, but it was. Pretty much being perpetually played my freshman year. We were addicted. That and Star Fox. 64. Star Fox was good. Yeah. 
Uh, the Smash Brothers series. Smash Brothers, all right, that's two. I think my second one would have to be Sly Cooper. Really? I, 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 I never, never got into Sly Cooper. I love Sly Cooper. There were just some moments. It was one of those games where, even though it wasn't realistic, you got that, like, thrill of a video game where you're yeah. like, yes, yeah. I can do it. You know, you're like running along a wire over a city and diving down into, like, a window, and you're like, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm the greatest. Well, on the... On the subject of uh, stealth-esque type games, uh, I was a big fan of the Thief series. I even like Deadly Shadows, which a lot of people really, uh, really seem to not be that happy with. Uh, there's supposed to be a, a Thief 4 coming out. Really? But I still think that uh, that uh, Thief is the best stealth series. Not, not Assassin's Creed, which really isn't a stealth series anymore. Not Splinter Cell, Ugh. Thief. You know, and, and this isn't necessarily one of my top five, but it's a series I think is worth mentioning because it has not gotten the attention it deserved lately is Bomberman. Bomberman was a solid game. Yeah. Bomberman was great. And is this, have we circled back around to somewhere we were before? Yeah, I that's where have. the water wheel... No. That's New Line... Or not... No, that's... Plagueville or whatever. Blight Town. Blight Town. All right, so, all right, so you think we're done here and ready to head up the head up that water wheel again? I definitely think we're done here. Okay. Well, you know, had to give it a look. Yeah. Didn't want to leave anything on. No, that's fine. Uh, um. Nice. Top, top series. You know what? Ratchet and Clank. Really? There's something that was just good, old, clean fun about these massive guns and cutting loose. Hmm. Maybe it's a little kiddie. I mean, I grant you that. I mean, they're getting a movie, for God's sake. But it was, they were funny. They were fun to play. They were never overtly frustrating, but they were challenging. Yeah. They're, it's a great series. Yeah, I wouldn't know much about games that are uh, challenging without being frustrating. I seem to have forgotten all of the joy in my life. Right? There is no joy now. There is only Dark Souls. Yep. All right, so. Uh, so that's three for me. What's your third one? I think I'll give it to uh, I'll give it to the Civilization series. Civilizations, okay. Mm -hmm. When you're playing Civilization, you can build your own little nation. And you know what, Sid Meier's credit where credits due. One of the like pillars of gaming, Sid Meier's Pirates, oh, justifies Pirates owning great. an Xbox. What? Well, it's also a PC game. So there you go. But Sid Meier's Pirates is just phenomenal. But I think for my fourth and kind of in the same vein would have to be the Age of Empires. The whole deal. See, I just, I I never got into real-time strategy. It's just not my uh, my bag, my je ne sais quoi. Me and my dad used to play Age of Empires, and we had these very different strategies. My dad would build hundreds of miles of just cheap palisade wall just to fuck with me. Mm -hmm. And I would just go, okay, I'll burn it all. I'll burn everything you love. That, uh, that strategy doesn't surprise me. Yeah. Well, you know. All right, yeah. so that's four for me. What's your fourth? Um. You know, I'm... It, 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 it's it's such an obvious answer. It seems almost like a cop out, but oh, don't fall off that ledge. Whew. Uh, but Mario, Mario, you know what? I I don't think we'd be here today if it wasn't for Mario. Yeah. I mean everything from uh, Super Mario Brothers, Mario Two, the, the real one, and Doki Doki Panic. Right. Uh, Mario Three, of course. Obviously. The the Tanuki suit. <laughs> Easily the best of Mario's suits. You know what? Or talk about Mario 64, which... Fucking for, revolutionized 3D platformers. For yeah, me... It, it was the birth of them. Yeah. For me, that was the first time a video game, like, stopped me just because of its appearance. I I was like, 
I just want to run in a circle because I, I can run in a circle. Yeah. Uh, I'm switching over to the, the great axe because I'm going to be sort of hiding behind the shield up here because I know we got snipers. And I need uh, Smart man. something a little quicker on the draw. All right. Now, for my fifth one, this is hard for me because I've got, I've got three I would like. My fifth one's going to have to be Mario Kart. Mario Kart? And specifically for that, Double Dash. But Mario Kart is just, I don't know. I i could, to this day, sit down with, like, Double Dash or good old N64 Mario Kart and just have a great time. Hmm. They're quality games. They're You can have a good time or you can make them challenging. I know we still need to go that ledge down there but we didn't go up this ladder last time so since so we, since we have an idea of what's down the ledge yeah. may as well see what we got now honorable mention of course would be the legend of zelda which i don't think has turned out a bad game uh i loathe twilight princess i, I don't it. i don't like it but i can appreciate the fact that other people do seem to like it i i, I couldn't i couldn't do it I mean, that's pretty much my genre of game, and I just, I couldn't do it. Also, Donkey Kong. I really like Donkey Kong Country. Yeah. Now, the whole bongo thing was kind of retarded, but. Mm. All right, so what's your fifth one? Series. Um, you, you may or may not count it, and I was never good at this, mm. but, uh, but I enjoyed it. I never didn't have fun playing it. Uh, Dance, Dance, Revolution. Okay, that's a series for sure. Yeah. See, and that's kind of the same thing for me with Mario Kart. It's I can always have a good time at Mario Kart. I mean, Dance Dance Revolution on more than one occasion left me gasping like I was developing asthma. But uh -oh. always had fun. Here, it's a mimic. We keep being afraid of mimics, but we have no evidence. Key to ah, New Londo! What? Good what? Time. Good thing we went up here. Yeah. But we have no evidence there's actually such a thing. As mimics in this game? I mean, it seems a reasonable assumption given the general ass hattery. And the kind of game it is. Mimics are just standard issue. Oh. Another one of these fuckers. Except note how he doesn't have a... A, a rock, yeah. Oh. Hey, little fucker. Maybe you should have brought uh, something a little bigger. And you know what's funny is not that long ago, the first one of these yeah. beat really? the shit out of us. I mean, that's in the last episode, which we are working on getting back out to you guys, but yeah, it's really hard making a silk purse from a sow's ear. And, and really ask yourselves, do you want us turning out an episode a day like we do? Try luring it out. Try or spending out. three days getting the lost episode. Oh, here comes another one. All right, you little bitch. Let's see it. Oh. Yeah. Don't bring that up in my house. Not in his house. Actually, actually I think this is actually the orc's house. Not anymore. Don't bring this up in your house. You done bitch. pissed in it. This is yours. Ooh, an item's back there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a dung pie. Oh, I'm almost certain. Fucking dung pie. Oh, what you, what you roaring about? Acting like you got something to say? You got something to say? Ow! You can say ow, or please, sir, stop hitting me in the face with your axe. Or wow, this dick you're feeding me is tasty. Thank yeah. you. I just, I just got a shudder, like, like a cold chill. I think, I don't think the game proves of our, uh, our cockiness, and uh, we're, we're gonna pay for this soon. God, how many of these fuckers are there? Prepare your anus. Oh. Oh. You know, I switched to this this shield for the shield bash, but I haven't used Shield it. bashed anyone? Yeah. I don't think these guys would respond well to a shield bash. Kind of like either. they don't respond well to a kick. Oh. Drive it home, drive it home. Okay. So, so this definitely leads somewhere, which means we're leaving that ledge behind. But We're off well. on the road to New Londo. Which, I mean, we opened that gate by the gloomy guy, and yeah. we left the Hydra, and we left the Valley of the Drakes. And there's that ledge back to Pyromancy. Uh-oh. We have to keep going, though. 
Imminent danger zone. Uh oh. Danger zone. Try fleeing. Um. Swing that dick, Michan. Let's get him. <laughs> Valley of the Drake. Woohoo! We're back. Wait a minute. Look where we are. How the fuck did we? Oh shit! This is a tiny fucking ledge. Hot time in the old town tonight. Wait. So how did we get to the? God, I get confused by the fucking loops this thing takes. Ooh. So, I don't... Piece of candy. Large silver nameless soldier. Does this open? This key to New Londo ruins. Does this lead to New Londo? Apparently. Okay. Well, wait a minute. What about... I guess you have to pass through the Valley of the Drakes to get to New Londo. Have we been here before? This looks familiar. We've been here! Remember, that's the Banshees. Yeah. Okay, so we're heading down now. Holy what? shit, Sean. We got here in, like, video five we were down here, remember? Yeah, which means we should be able to go up here and get to Firelink. Yeah. Okay. All right, we, we got a decision to make now. You know what, uh, folks? I tell you what. We're going to hash this out, and um, we'll catch you guys next time with our decision. Yep. See so, ya. uh... Peace.